option for every woman. No. Um, adopting isn't an option for every woman. I just think healthy, healthy communication <laughs> across the board yes. is necessary. And it will eliminate a lot of problems. Yes. Just talk it. Yes. Some people scream, some people holler, some yes. people write, some people text. Whatever form of communication needs to be had, mm -hmm. make it happen. happen. But talking is simple. Yes. I'm just, look. Right. <laughs> this is what I got going on. Right. But I don't know if I would do it on the first date, though. Not and, the first date. And see, me, um, the first date, I like to listen. Yeah. You know, and I think with listening, you know, like you spark up a conversation and one question can be limitless. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? It can lead to a whole nother form of conversation. But I think um, one, if you write, if you ask the, first, the right questions the first date, you might not have a second date. You know, you <laughs> might not have to go through the ups and downs with this person because I not attend you on that first date because of, um, how a person appears to you, yeah. you know, a physical attraction. Yeah. Now we have to get attracted mentally and we like what we think we could have ex instead of admitting like we really don't, we have nothing in common, in common. Yeah. but being sexually attracted to one another, yeah. which is going to lead us to. But I think it's okay to say that. Yes. We're a, well, a, a sound, <laughs> fully functioning adult. adult. Some of us, <laughs> yes. Can appreciate that much honesty yes such as myself yes um i mean i could go on i have a story about that but see me i lay <laughs> all my cards out on the table like i'm not telling you my deepest deepest darkest secrets yeah. no but i'm telling you my do's yeah. and my don'ts you know i'm giving you the option to hit the nearest exit <laughs> you know so it's quick fast quick fast and in a hurry yeah. you know um because when it start discussing like kids with me, you know, it's kind of like it don't have to be an option. I really, I'm one of the women that I don't have to have a kid. You know, we could travel the world and enjoy life. Yeah. You know, but we, if you were to, to, if we, it, but if we were to, we it would have we would have to be on the same page because exactly. you would be a single father. Yeah. Okay. I'm really not the one. Avery, I believe I'm, you. I'm not the one. <laughs> so let's discuss this, cause I'm the man. I feel like exactly. I'm the man of this. I like go. I have things to do. Yeah. So you know, um, and and, and I don't. I, at the age I, I'm not tampering with my body. No, no. You know, so that is a conversation for me that. I think where I'm at, it definitely needs to be had because some guys want to have kids, and right now, even as old as I am, is is I don't have to have. You don't have to. Yeah, uh, you're uh, fine. Uh, yes, I'm all right. I get so, nervous so, and start sweating. <laughs> what if he has kids? With oh, that's I love guys that okay. have kids to an extent because every good father isn't a good man. Like I'm learning, maybe I need to date a Debbie dad. You know, because okay. these, you know, good fathers aren't always good. good Again, we yeah. get infatuated and we get caught up in how we see them interacting with their kids and they're so responsible. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to the relationship, okay. now they're lacking, they're lacking in that area. Gotcha. So, yeah. I don't know. We're going to figure this thing out, but um, <laughs> it really... <laughs> She said you will be a single father. No, I'm serious. <laughs> because, but you have some men out there, and this is what I'm cautious of. Mm -hmm. You have men out there that's all right with being a single father or just that's being true. a dad and not having a family or a relationship. And within conversation, I like to hear his outlook on family. Yeah. Because I was brought up in a family, mm -hmm. you know, and... That's one thing. Get to know how a person is raised. Oh yeah. You know, because it may be like religion, like we are just what not. My grandma always say, pay attention to how a man treats his mother. That will never ever ever change. Yes. So if you see this man being disrespectful and that's his mom, chances yes. are he's going to be disrespect you. So hostile with his mom. Yeah. He's gonna be hostile with you. Yeah. You know, or yeah, with a little, a little DMX feel, you know. But you know, we just have to be um, um, cautious of whom we choose to have kids with it. And get yeah, a lot of guys now are okay 
with like I hear guys say like I got three kids I want one more now I didn't hear you say my next one is gonna be my best one yeah. I'm gonna get married my next go around you just said I, just want I want another kids. one and you're over here talking we are we don't have nothing in common no. right now mm -hmm. you didn't say the right things and you're not even say the right things you have to move accordingly yeah. to your words so it's kind of like we have to be cautious because yeah guys want kids but they don't want the relationship or sometimes the family that's no. attached to it they are right with just having offsprings and just they think because they think that's my legacy yeah. and that's not a just legacy go or have or, or meet someone that's on the same page that just yeah. want a child too or is, is okay with co-parenting yeah. you know not a person who wants a family that's where communication is everything right whether that conversation is good or bad communication mm -hmm. is necessary mm -hmm. but that's just me and let's cut off the sexual attraction somewhere yes, yes. and cerebral yes I, yeah yes that's it. And we have to be honest with ourselves of what we want and don't want. And don't want the goal, our goals, and how we're going to reach those goals if the, the person we're with is, isn't on the same page. So we have to make sure if a guy says to me personally, after having sex, and I'm telling you I'm pregnant and we don't have unprotected sex mm -hmm. and we never conversed about it, he's like, look, oh, scared. I'm not ready, you know? I'm not ready. And it's just like, well, you gotta get ready. It's, it's the you gotta get, I'm not ready either. My yeah. body isn't ready. Yeah. I'm not ready for stretch marks, but it's gonna happen, yeah. you know? That so a reality. That's, it's a reality. Yeah. So, you know, I hate to say it because, you know, we do have the choice. We could bring a life and we could take a life away. Yeah. I think that's one thing that's just so dope about being a woman and that's different, you know. Mm -hmm. And we we like we have that like strength, like like it's our choice and it's put all on us and I just don't think I just don't think it's is is right, it's fair. Yeah, I, that's a touchy subject. Not necessarily touchy, just it's, yeah, it, it, and I don't have a guy depends. here to yeah, we don't have a male to defend himself. I don't want to be biased, but I completely understand that people slip up. But it's it's it, you have to be responsible for your actions. For every That's action, it. it's a reaction. So no, I'm not ready, and maybe we need to have this discussion on. Okay, it's not only that I'm not ready to have a child. I'm not ready to have a family. I'm not ready to be with just one person. I thought we were having fun, but. I'll take care of my kid, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm not with all that. Don't call me late at night. <laughs> Talk about I'm hungry. You know, like, yeah. I think that's where boundaries, boundaries. communication, communication, you know, yes. responsibility. Yes. It's all, it never changes. Yes. But because we are where we are today, when my parents and grandparents was talking about it, I'm like, oh, they talk about it. But it's a reality. Mm -hmm. It is among us. So. Yes. And I've, I've, I've seen it. I've, um, again, I was, I was pregnant before okay. and miscarried. But within that time, it was a scare. Like, oh, hold up. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's going What's on happening? here? Yeah. yeah. And it's a reality check. And like I said, God don't give you nothing you can't handle. That's true. So people be like, oh, Avery, I feel so bad. But ah. He give it. No, and he, he take, take it, it away. away. <laughs> so who can and can't handle it? Right. And he know, right. you know, what I can and cannot yeah. handle. But I also paid attention to that. Mm -hmm. I did not go right back again and do the same thing and make the same mistake. There it is. No, you I took heed. I, I, <laughs> I learned from that every day. Sick, everything. Like, yeah. am I ready? Is this something that I really ever want to go through? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, it was a beautiful thing. thing with the right person. Yeah. And we have the proper support system. Yeah. So, or you got them strong women, listen. Listen, salute yeah. to these single mothers out here. I am serious. That did it with or without. Yeah. And with the man telling them, I'm not going to be, or this is not what I'm ready for. And you still did it. And you're successful. You finished school. You educated yourself. Or you're working and you've been within your field. Whatever it is you're doing to maintain your household and your sanity, I salute you. Massage. <laughs>
I'm just saying. <laughs> I salute you because it is not sim simple being the head and the tail. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah. it, you are your yin and your yang. Yeah. You know, it's not. Then they wonder why I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> or you snap. I don't care. Like, Listen. you live my life and then tell me how to react. The thing about, though, life for me personally is the lessons that I've learned mm -hmm. from way back when, mm -hmm. literally until today. So, I'm another person that learns from mistakes. I'm not saying that I won't make that mistake again, but I mm. try very hard not to. Thank you. And I just like, you know what? This is my situation. Thank you. I'm making lemonade. Thank you. Like, I'm not staying there. The, exactly. I'm not staying there. Or stagnant. And, but that, I, the, and I think that's literally why I have the strength that I have. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, how can I make this positive? Because draining your energy, focusing on what's not, is insanity to me. Yeah. I just focus on what is and make that happen. Yeah. And here I am. And see? <laughs> That's yeah. it. Look. Success in the making. That's Look. It. Right in front of you. That's and I it. say we go back. And I'm sorry, guys, because I am so sick today. I'm sweating. <laughs> My breathing isn't right. But I am here. Um, and I can't even really think straight. My head I is pounding. I got something for that, too. Uh, I'm, I'm going to. Just my thumbs. Okay. I, I got you. Okay. Um. So, is there anything else I want you again to promote your business, promote yourself, um, really quick? Anything else you would like to say? Anything? I'm here. Like to I'm to ready. Them? And honestly, for every body, literally body, yes. Like your therapy is mine. And what I mean by that is, as I'm fixing and helping and healing and, and, and relieving pain, that does me joy. Yes. So the fact that you come to me with this issue and I can help you resolve your issue by just these blessed hands, yeah. like that's my therapy. I feel great when I make other people feel great. Wait, it's that's around you said it's Women Crush Wednesday, right? <laughs> I had to get up like, every, wait, she had to go. Every first and, la every first and fourth uh, to, uh, Wednesday of the month. So this yeah. is first Wednesday. So this is first Wednesday. Okay. So I'm going to do a whole review because y'all see me. I'm sweating. It's okay. I'm very under the weather right now. So you guys, please work with me. I got you. Probably wasn't my best um, interview. I can't think it's quick. It's okay. But we going to get you back. And But I actually want to um, just get in and like pick your brain some and maybe even Let's go live it. while you're doing my massage. Let's do it. So let's do it. Let's support one another. I want to shout out who's that look at my production crew. Always support me. Have my back.